All right, shalom, shalom. This is the brother Dunyala coming back again with another lesson. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Arachat Kadash. Double one is to the elders and apostles, a great millstone. And shalom to the hopeful elect brothers and sisters that believe in this word and that fear in the Heavenly Father and His Son. And I just wanted to do a, uh, a in transit while I'm driving to a destination, man, you know, you know, on the Shaddai. Um, you know, basically, uh, hey man, we're at what? We're the fourth day into the so-called new year. And, you know, got lots of different things already going on. Um, hey, this has been coined the, the year of, uh, the hopeful year of, um, Shalaki, the hopeful year of uh, Jacob's trouble, right? You know, so hopefully this year we can see Jacob's trouble start to uh, manifest, right? And we see how we know and see how all these di different things are going to come to pass. All right, we know from the scripture what the what the uh, main outcome is going to be, what's going to be going on, but then how it's going to be done. The Lord has also revealed it unto us, unto us also what the different plans of these elites are to bring these prophecies to fruition, Salakia, right? Because ultimately, if this devil, uh, uh, you know, uses his resources to call a famine, cause a famine, it's really uh, the Most High, all right? The Most High put the Spirit on him to do so, okay? And all these different things is about to come to pass. Now, um, us brothers, we did a, uh, a live stream um, what was it? Uh, and so lucky if this comes out of my, my cameras all over the place, man uh, It's more important that you hear me, you know as, as you know, not so much as seeing me, but it's more important that you hear me, right? Um, but look um, Yeah, we did a uh, live stream last night uh, Entitled woe is me. Woe is me who shall deliver me in that day? Right because the, the times that are coming is about to be very great uh, dreadful times, man. Very great, dangerous times. The days of evil, as the scriptures talk about, right? And um, a crazy thing through the spirit is when I came, um, when I was done, because we did it late last night. I went back upstairs to it to the. Uh, I actually, I actually fell asleep on the couch, and then I went upstairs to my room, and my my uh, my wife looks over at me and, and shows me her phone. And on her phone is second uh, second Edris, Edris, the um, 16th chapter and the 19th verse where it says uh, scourges of, you know, famine and, and, and things of that nature. Right. And, 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 and death and, you know, are sent for scourges or, or scourges sent for amendment. So, you know, those are scourges that the Lord put on you that you might learn a lesson, but our people won't learn their lesson. Right. Now the crazy thing is, she asked me, did I use her phone? And I didn't use her phone. She said, I didn't look this up, and this wasn't on my phone, on my browser before, so how did it get there, right? You know, I said, hey, that's the spirit of the Lord. Because, hey, the Lord is about to send out a lot of scourges, man. People are already getting scourged, but a lot of scourges, a lot of examples, people who's been just playing around with the Lord, Hey man, the Lord is about to make examples out of people. Like Elder Apostle Gabar, uh, you know, did that video saying, you know, stop, stop playing around with the Heavenly Father, man. Stop playing around with the Most High, right? Because hey, oh man, the um the report that those brothers did with uh, the the brother, um, you know, the Jake that was in the camp, right? He was, you know, he's just being he was being reckless. And he was not listening to counsel and he was joking he was he was laughing and joking about um the judgment of the most high so right after camp right you know and he played it off like he was he was gonna take heed to what the brothers were saying you know you, you can watch that video but right after um right after camp right he goes and you know 
situation happened, he, he gets drunk or whatever, and he gets hit by multiple cars on the on the free on the highway, man, or, or you know on the street. So he got a really harsh, oh, uh, that that had to be painful, a harsh judgment from the Lord because he refused to listen. And I think um, I think they said something happened where uh, um, you know he had to he had to get off the I don't I don't know I think he was riding a bus or whatever. You can correct me if I'm wrong, right? But he didn't want to hear the reproof. Of those brothers, man, that was telling me, hey man, you gotta stop. And of course, out of love, but he didn't want to hear the reproof or the correction from those brothers. So the Lord gave him a, a very hard correction, a very hard reproof, a very hard rebuke in that manner. Because re re remember now, um, Isaiah 66, it says, What? The Lord shall come with fire and his chariots as a whirlwind. With his sorry, with his rebukes as flames of fire, right? So, hey, if you don't want to listen to the the verbal rebuke to get your stuff together, right? The Lord can make you feel it, man. Like uh, El Elder Apostle uh, Gabar always says, uh, where where um, where words don't uh. Where words don't teach, adversity will. You know, uh, you know my uh, my folks being from the islands. You know, my mom would say, uh, "Who don't hear, does feel." Like if you don't want to hear, then you're gonna feel it, right? So for for the for a and that's man, that's a cautionary tale. That's a live example. And the Lord's gonna have more examples like that, man. Um, and we, we got to pray and then stay, stay obedient unto the spirit, man, unto the Lord. Because, you know, we don't want that to be us. That, that should put fear in your mind, right? Um, but, um, right, man. So for all these, all these people out here, and I'm, now I'm just talking about uh, people who don't want to take heed. Uh, those who know they're Israelites and don't know. They don't want to take heed unto unto uh, sound doctrine, or don't want to take heed unto uh, uh, you know the correction that goes out through the spirit. You know, hey, if you don't want to take heed to the rebuke and the correction that the Lord has coming down verbally with words, right? We try, hey, we try to persuade you. It's, it's really all up to the Lord. But knowing the, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. But if you don't want to um, take heed. Unto the words, the Lord is gonna have painful these these plagues, these um, famine, these infinite ways to be destroyed. You know, is going to take place, and that's gonna be your 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 punishment or your lesson, so to speak. That's gonna be your rebuke, right? Like I said, rebuke with flames of fire. You don't want to hear what the Lord got to say? All right. Well, the Lord's going to correct you himself with fire. That's why we say, hey, you don't want the Lord to come down and tell you. You don't want the Lord to come down and speak to you, man. You're going to give up the ghost. Right? You want, <laughs> want, want the most high or, or the son to come down from heaven and tell you, oh, you shouldn't be doing that, my son. No, because when the Lord come, the Lord's telling you right now through his prophets. When the Lord comes on the scene, there's not going to be any talking. There's only going to be a, a, a salvation and judgment. If you're not on the side of salvation, you're going to get the judgment. If you wasn't taking heed to the reproof and the rebuke, you're going to get the judgment. The Lord is, hey man, accept the correction and the, and the rebuke and the reproof now. Because if the Lord got to, if the Lord got to correct you. The Lord got to uh, uh, step in physically, which he is correcting you uh, uh, through through words. But if the Lord got to put his hands on you, whoo, you better hope he has mercy, man. Because just, hey, that's another thing, too. Just because the Lord has mercy upon you doesn't mean he ain't going to hurt you, man. Look at what he did to King David. Yeah, he had mercy upon him, but he gave King David hell. You know, 
even though David was the beloved, right? You know, out, of course, outside of the Lord um, Yahweh Shai, um, which I believe, uh, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, um, when uh, which one of the prophets was it? Um, it might have been Shemuelah, uh Samuel, where uh, you know he was named Solomon, but Sam, uh, either one of the priests, I believe it was Samuel, he gave him another name that he called him by. I, I guess you know, lack of better words, a nickname, but I think that also meant beloved. I can, I'll, I'll look that up, Lord will. Um, you know, if a brother knows that, they can put that on the comment board. Um, it may be in um, it may be in the book of Samuel's or the or the book of Kings. Probably the book of Samuel, maybe the second chapter. But um, right, man. So, hey, like I said, if man, if the if the Lord um the lord has to come down here and put, if if the lord comes and put his hands on you so to speak and i'm speaking metaphor the scripture says um 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 what is it um basically woe unto them that uh uh that that fall into, into the hands of the lord of the living power you know because the lord come down and put it hey if he, he put he put his hand to you bro you, you can't escape man there's no escape for you you know Right, even if the Lord have mercy upon you, you know, even if the Lord have mercy upon you for what you did or your wrongdoing, the Lord can still put his hands on you and give you and give you hell. Right? He may uh uh he, he you know he may have mercy upon you and, and, and not destroy you, but he can still put his hands on you and make you make you not want to do that thing again, you know. But who wants who wants to who wants to even, you know. Uh, 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 go that route. You know who wants to go the route of? Oh, I'll, oh, the Lord have mercy. Okay, yeah, well, he might, he might not. You don't know when your mercy gonna run out. He might, he might not. Right? He might have mercy on you. He might not. And then, in the in the, in the chance that he does have mercy on you, he can still, man, he can still whoop your whoop your behind in the spirit, man. He can still whoop your behind. And who wants to go through that? You know? <laughs> you want to try to go through the least amount of <laughs> butt whoopings, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll try to, you know, not use too much foul language, but the least amount of butt whoopings in the spirit as you possibly can. You know? You know, in which, you know, um, those different punishments and stuff like that those those are a benefit to you when you go through it but you know at punishments for wrongdoing you 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 want to get the least amount as you can man because the lord can mess you up you know um right so hey man with that with that being said because you know that was on hey that was on like i said that was on eve's phone and we brought that scripture out um, right on the um, We actually brought that scripture out uh, You know Right on the live stream You know And then it, it popped up on her phone So let you know that the Lord put the put that You know uh, uh, On her phone You know You know So hey When, hey, when the Lord does uh, Scourge you so to speak Right, or, or or you know, teaches you a hard lesson, man. You want to remember that lesson, right, and learn from it, you know. But a lot of our, the majority of our people, they're not, they're not. All these scourges that the Lord has put, all the curses that the Lord has put on our people to destroy them, and they still ain't learning a lesson, man. They still doing the same things that they were doing before, right? So, hey, man, just wanted to do a quick video on that, you know. Which, you know, that all happened through the spirit. Um, you know, like I said, I told I told my wife, she's like, I didn't put that on there. You didn't put that on there. And this scripture just popped up on the little, um, what do you call it? The, uh, the, um, the, uh, what do you call it? The little, um, the K KJV. Um, Bible website 
right? Literally just the preset, uh, second Ezra chapter 16, verse 19, right? So I, hey, man, I said, Hey, that's the spirit. That's through the spirit, you know, and I'm just going off of that. You know, do this uh, in transit video. So with that, I'm gonna say, call all y'all by Shmiyah, with Shabbat Shmiyah, Kadosh, and Shalom to the whole full elect. Shalom.